So the key, what occurred with Rejuvenate is uh, Rejuvenate was so impactful and so successful as a product that uh, it was originally intended and designed for fall applications on, on crop residue uh, to speed up residue digestion. And then we got all these nutrient absorption uh, or nutrient release benefits. And the, the results were so remarkable that growers started applying Rejuvenate not just in the fall, but also in the spring in furrow as part of a starter solution or as a side dress solution. And it was also very effective there. But the key is that if you really want to use it for input reduction costs, for, for reducing input costs and reducing the amount of nutrients required, you are going to get the greatest response and the greatest nutrient release when it's applied in the fall so that you have the entire winter period for microbial activity to increase your nutrient availability. If you wait to put it on the spring, you get only a fraction of the response. Um, and the reality is that microbial activity in soil never stops during the winter. Even if the soil is frozen solid, it slows down, but it doesn't stop entirely. And your greatest periods, the periods of greatest nutrient release are going to be uh, in the fall before freeze up and then immediately uh, after freeze up, uh, after the soil thaws out, if you do have frozen soil. So the response from a fall application is going to be significantly greater than a spring application. And you should expect to see some very nice responses from a soil aggregation, soil quality perspective, as well as a nutrient release perspective. And I would strongly uh, suggest um, actually measuring, measuring, using soil analysis, measuring nutrient release before and after, uh, or not before and after, because there's going to be natural seasonal variation in before and after, but doing side-by-side -side evaluations, I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised um, and impressed with the results that you get from a revenant application.